G'day everyone, hope you're well. So this is one of the new releases from Eddard. I say Eddard, I don't know if that's correct or not. Maybe it's Edward, I say Eddard. Uh, it's the 148 F104C in a limited edition boxing, the Zipper. So it's the Vietnam War schemes. Now, I love the F104 and I love the aircraft of the Vietnam War era, the Southeast Asian camouflage scheme, so I could not resist this when it came out. So we got on the side, we see our choices. So we got two bare metal schemes and we got five out of the Southeast Asia camouflage scheme. This is uh, Kinetics F104. Uh, Eddard used to box Hasegawa F104s, which is also a good kit, but it's a bit dated compared to the Kinetic one. This uh, Kinetic one's more detailed. Alright, so we have a huge box that's half empty. resin all right Zoom in a bit so you got your sprue tree uh, map you got parts that won't be used uh, obviously the f104 is all variants kinetic deal all variants and we've also got uh, photo etch and resin that we'll be replacing some kit parts. So starting off with your uh, instrument panel, uh, a lot of photo etch into the uh, ejection seat. Again, you'll be using photo etch and the resin. You're uh, into the engine and the wheel well. We got modifications for uh, the markings. So, which scheme you're doing? It, this is we're cutting off this part for every scheme except for scheme B, which is on the nose that section. Your main gear bay. So we're uh, adding some photo etch and replacing kit parts or kit moulding on the uh, bulkhead there. And the uh, electronics bay behind the cockpit. Again, a whole heap of photo etch going in there. So we're removing a heap of plastic. And we're putting in the instrument panel combing and the HUD into putting on the uh, access panels on the skin. Intakes, uh, the nose, stabilizers, and then landing gear. You've got the resin wheels, so you won't be needing the plastic kit wheels. We've got a, uh, some more photo etch going into the inside of your gear doors, which is a nice touch. speed brakes and then onto the wings uh, drilling holes if you're putting the, the rack on the wing pylon on the wing and you can have flaps posed uh, down or retracted and then uh, rear canopy section which is part of the spine of the aircraft option to have it closed or open if you're putting in all the detail on the electronics bay you would want it open so you could see it as otherwise you won't see any of it and uh, finally canopy which has a uh, photo etch going into it so that'll be a 
careful job there, you know, get glue on your clear part and all you get your pito uh, refueling probe and then all your antenna etc underneath which is on an aircraft like this is something you want to keep to near the end so you don't bump it off and your wing tanks and you can have uh, drop tanks and we have a mask set included so alright so we're into the schemes so we got uh, Major Charles H Drisco 435th Tactical Fighter Squadron uh, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, Udorn, uh Royal Thailand Air Force Base, 1967. So your classic uh, Southeast Asia camo, tan, and uh, greens. And we got the uh, Uh, natural metal scheme. I think I've done this scheme on the House of Yao kit. I think it's or it was the same squadron I did anyway. So we got uh, Colonel George Eleven Jr. So it's the uh, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, George Air Force Base, California, 1959. Uh, it, the F104 looks fantastic in natural metal. Right, Lieutenant Colonel Robert A. Presadio, 435th Tactical Fire Squadron, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, uh, same air base in the Udorn, Royal Thailand Air Force Base 67. We have a natural metal scheme in Vietnam. Uh, no pilot listed for this one, so it's uh, 476 Tactical Fire Squadron, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, Da Nang Air Base, South Vietnam, 65. Uh, Captain James B. Trice, 435th Tactical Fighter Squadron, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, Udorn Royal Thailand Air Force Base, 67. And Major uh, Bobby D. Betsworth, 435th Tactical Fighter Squadron, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing, and same again, uh, 67, same air base. And uh, Major Hugh B. Spencer, again the same fighter squadron and fighter wing, and the same air base. And for stencil data layout. And top and bottom. Very nice. I can attest to the kinetic kit. I've built it and it's a very nice kit. Alright, we are taking it. We'll do photos at the end, so I'll take them out. Alright, that's it there. Alright, there's your unpainted fret and up oh, right way up colored photo etch fret that's a huge upgrade to your Um, kit parts and that's your uh, mask set yeah right. Oh, there's your uh, ejection seat and two choices. Oh, I 
let's say one will be for might be for which scheme you're doing perhaps I'm not sure there all right resin wheels is always a great upgrade so you got your hubs which you cut off sand down and fit into the wheel and the nose wheel is molded in one all right sit them there don't lose them all right start with the well your stencil data just a few everyone wants to see the color so yeah, nice colorful uh, schemes you got the pussycat sex machine <laughs> the old donkey I won't say what it reads. I'll take photos of that to get it. There might have been a big glare on that, trying to hold it. Alright. Start with the clear part. Looks to be all good. Oh, I've got a bit of a mark and I don't know if it's a scuff mark or so you'll need to pay attention to your instructions. As you can see you've got two windscreens there. And uh, a couple of different canopy sections. Oh. Yep. Fuselage and the uh, wings and your tail stabilizer. This really is a nice kit. It's kinetic. It's got nice uh, rivet detail panel lines, which is what. The old Hasegawa is lacking these days. It's also got some moulding detail in the cockpit side walls. Uh, drop tanks, uh, the kit seat, which isn't too bad either if you're building if you just bought a kinetic f104 it builds nice out of the box it's uh, nothing wrong with just doing it that way A spring. Oh, 
your the kit wheels uh, weighed on wheels they're molded that way even though you're not using them in this kit this build unless you want it to of course so there's your electronics bay so all that detail on top will need to be removed for the photo etch like I said out of the box that's not too not too foul the interior detail although you I think I'm sure now from it's been a while since I built mine you're probably just using uh, decals to cover that detail Zipper. I'll uh, add photos as per usual at the end of this. Thank you for watching.